I mentioned earlier how easy the pump is. I don't, I don't care if it's a trailer mounted portable unit or if it's a barge platform or if it's a vertical electric pump, it's, it's easy to transport. It's easy to install. As I said, there's no priming, there's no suction lines, there's no check valves. You can run it around the clock. Uh, here's a picture of two fellas that uh, had never seen our pump. And within about 30 minutes, uh, they knew exactly how to hook it up, put it in the water, and operate it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how to set up the pump and uh, give you some, uh, some more insight on places that the pump operates and how it performs. And now, as mentioned, uh, I want to show you a few scenes for the setup and operation of the pump. You tow the pump, the trailer pump, tow it to your job site. Uh, it has a jack that that black hand, that silver handled black uh, jack there just behind his hands. It sets on its own. You back the trailer up to it, put a towing pin in, uh, tighten it up, pick up the power takeoff shaft, connect it to the drive, in this case a tractor, it could be uh, any drive that you've selected, uh, back it down into the medium. This is a, uh, a, feed, a dairy farm, this is a manure pit. Uh, this pump has got an agitator unit that has the valve back on the discharge so that you can close the valve, run the pump, agitate the pit and when you get the consistency you want and get all the sludge up off the bottom uh, there's tractor hydraulics that go back to that actuator close the valve there you can see it better from this end you have dual intake on the back of the housing and the front of the housing and in this case this actuator will close or partially close and throw the discharge rearward to start stirring the pond. It'll mix it, it'll agitate it, and when you get the consistency, you push the handle and you pump it out. Here we're uh, working uh, in a river in Panama. You can see the old pump unit with the suction line. We took a front end loader and a backhoe and dug in, uh, a ramp into the bank of the river. Uh, these gentlemen had never seen our pump before, and in about 30 minutes, they were very comfortable in putting it in the water. Um, just get that, you see the inner uh, inlet eye there that I showed you the outer eye in the picture before. You just push it down into the water and get that inlet eye submerged. In this case, this river is a pretty consistent level. But if the water goes down and you need to be deeper into the hole, you just back deeper into the water. If you need a longer pump to do that, we'll build you a longer pump to do that. And we don't worry about cavitation. Uh, cavitation isn't going to help hurt this pump. It's an open impeller. And here we're working on a turf farm. We took our discharge tubing and connected it to the farmer's uh, tubing simply using a few bands and, a, and an old bucket as a splicer and pretty soon we were we were watering as much as uh, as he needed we're not a high pressure pump but we do work very good at low to moderate lifts our pumps come in sizes from two inch discharge to a 24 inch discharge and depending on the flow and the volume that you require um, we can put out as little as 200 gallons a minute with a small pump our large pump can put out 18,000 gallons per minute. Here we're working against, you know, a moderate lift, 40 to 60 feet. Sometimes we can work up to 80 to 100 feet. But again, based on the requirement of your pumping operation, we'll select the right pump, the right impeller. We can even modify the intake to get you the pump that you need. And if we can't do it for you, we'll tell you that, and we'll recommend you to the product that would best serve your requirement. This gentleman's pumping water out of the river, putting it into a holding pond, and then he'll use that pond to irrigate the rest of his fields. The impeller is uh, of such a design that there's 
we, we look at other pump manufacturers and we compare and say we can use less diesel, less cost, less fuel to get you the product that you, the, the flow that you need uh, in as economical way as possible. We ship these pumps around the world. We'll put them in a container. We'll ship them to you. You just back it out of the container, drive to your job site back it into the water. In this case, we're, we're in Haiti. We're in a village in Haiti that has not been able to irrigate for five years. This river, due to drought, has been too low to come up and flood the irrigation system, so we're going to pump for them. They haven't produced a rice crop in five years, and these fellows quickly learned how to set up the pump, start flowing, uh, turning the, the PTO, and start moving water. And it's just that simple. You can see more on this pumping application on our website. Go to our blog and look at Haiti Rice Farmers. Um, this village now, because it could finally get water, has been able to plant and is now producing uh, around 22,000 sacks of rice per growing season. And they're able to feed 1,500 families and also mill enough rice to sell uh, to other communities. A huge change, a game changer for them. In a pump that's not sophisticated, uh, and all they have to do is make sure that the tractor continues to run and that they grease the bearings on the pump periodically. What they also found was as they put water on the field, it began to change the ecosystem. Animals, wildlife, birds, um, the pump just sits and runs in the river. And again, this gentleman is uh, he's saying it's been five years since they've done that and they're planting, they're weeding and planting just as fast as they can. This is exactly what our father had in mind when we built this company. People around the world, given enough water, can grow a crop and feed and make a living. Uh, we're very proud of this application and a lot of our applications around the world. Our pumps come with a standard one-year warranty from the date of purchase. We'll send you an operation and service manual. Uh, we'll walk with you all the way through the setup of your pump. Uh, we'll be responsible for any labor charges, loss, or consequential damage of any kind that could be caused by defective parts or any anything that our pump may have caused for one year. Uh, all you got to do is uh, get it back to us. We'll pay the freight or, or we'll come out and we'll fix it. Uh, again, we, we take pride in the way we built this pump. And we believe that, uh, and, and as a matter of fact, we don't get very many uh, warranty calls. It's, it's just that solid and that dependable. But we stand behind this pump and we will send that to you in writing with every sale.